Hey, what's up, fellow Blender users? This is Blender 3D Animator here, and this is my ninth Blender 3D tutorial. Um, today, we're going to be going over how to create a low-poly car in Blender. Uh, low-poly means low-polygon, um, not many faces, so it won't take up, like, if you made it into a game, it wouldn't take up, like, a bunch of RAM or anything. So, uh, my camera only has a little bit of battery left, so we're going to try to make this quick. So, what you need to do before you watch this video is make sure you have a side view of a car. Then go to View, Background Image, Use Background Image, Blend all the way down, click on Load, and load your, your picture. I'm going fast because I only have a little bit of battery left on my camera. Zoom in so it's in focus. Uh, you can close this little box. Delete your default cube, click somewhere in your car, left click, space, add, mesh plane. Um, go into edit mode, size it down just a bit, hit the Z key so it's transparent, and make the top and the bottom of the plane so it's at the top and the bottom of the car. Select the edge. Um, uh, put the vertices so that they uh, match up with the edges of the car. And um, just kind of do that like this. And then all you have to do is you can subdivide this and then if you want you can subdivide that and then extrude an individual face kind of like that and you know and take like this vertice and drag it down and then extrude this Take uh, this vertice here, drag it to there, then extrude this to there, to there, to there, to there, and there. And then I'll just take my vertices here, create my windshield, create that little lip. Straight down. It's deeper. And just ignore all the detail pretty much. And then um, go over here. Sorry if I'm not talking very much. It doesn't need uh, much explanation here. Um, just... Oh, crap. I just... Uh, Alright. So extrude this. I, what I do is I kind of take my bottom vertices down there and make an outline of something and then I go back to my top vertices and then drag them where I need them to go. That one will go there, then this whole one will make the back windshield, this one will make the whole top half of the car, that one will just kind of go there because it's low poly. Um, that will stick out and then like right here this is a place where you subdivide and take your center vertice and drag it over to make like a, like a bumper. And now, what I want you to do is rotate your view. Uh, you can get out of wireframe mode. Select everything. And um, press E for extrude region. And uh, extrude it out. And then if you don't like the way it is, press the G key and then the Z key. And extrude it a little more. It's a bit wide. That's about good. And then you hit tab. You have a basic modeled car right there. It's not really bad at all. Um, don't smooth it out because it always gets really ridiculously retarded. So just keep it smooth. If you need to, you can uh, possibly subsurf. I wouldn't recommend it unless you want like a more of like a spaceship kind of looking car. That's cool. Seriously, it actually kind of looks like a futuristic space vehicle sometimes. Pretty interesting, actually. You can even make it into a spaceship if you wanted to. Heck, I don't care. But, um, I have said it's solid for now. And then if you want some wheels, just go back to your top view here. Get rid of your background image by going here, background image. Taking that away. And then, if my video cuts out, um, I'm going, I apologize. I'll make a part two because my battery's low. So, drag this somewhere. Space, add, mesh, circle, fill, okay. Uh, drag it inside the wheel well, make it as 
big as it'll let you without hitting anything in the wheel well. Now, first tab, shift D, duplicate it while you're in edit mode. Drag it over. Select all, go to, uh, uh, I guess just rotate a bit, and, uh, ex whoops, extrude region, extrude that, then select all, shift D, drag it on the Z axis, up, over like that, and you have yourself a simple pair of wheels, simple car, um, you can color it any way that you like, I don't care, um, Quick tip for coloring an object, different colors. Uh, pick a uh, single color for the object. Let's go with uh, like an orangey color. Uh, go into edit mode. Uh, select your windshield and your rear windshield. Go to this. New material. Go back. Set it black. Go back to object. Assign. Get out of edit mode. And voila. Alright, my battery's lasted. I hope that tutorial helped you guys. This is Blender 3D Animator, signing out. See you guys later.